HUD, we only have one person to talk to at a time. Please try to avoid our natural tendency for that herbal answers such as shrugs of the shoulder and ads of the head, as well as other things that don't have to also translate into the record. If there's an objection, please stop talking until it's resolved. Please keep your voice up. If you would, please state your name and spell it. My name is Katrina Smith, K-A-T-R-I-N-A-S-M-I-T-H. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Ms. Smith, um, do you know um, Jalen Brazier? Yes. And um, how long have you known him? Um, for seven years. And um, what's the nature of uh, your relationship with him historically over those seven years? Um, we worked together. How long were you together? For seven years. Okay. Are you still together? No. Okay. Um, do you have children together? Yes. Um, how many children? Three. And um, how old are your children? Four, three, and one. Okay. And um, just for the record, do you see um, Mr. Brazier in court today? Yes. And could you just point to him and describe what he's wearing? He's wearing a blue tux with a green shirt. The record could reflect the witness to the defendant. So we're like, um, and, and Ms. Smith, um, is it fair to say we've had a, a couple of conversations over the past week together? Yes. And um, during those conversations, um, is, it, is it true that I've um, assured you that you're not someone to be investigated or under threat of prosecution in this case? Would that be fair to say? Yes. And um, you understand, though, that you are under oath today and have to tell the truth? Yes. Sir. Um, did you know Zion Foster? No, not personally. Um, did you have any sort of familiarity with her? No. Okay. Had you seen her before? I've seen her before through a um, family event. Okay. Do you know to what extent, um, back in 2001 and 2002, that um, Mr. Brazier had a, a, any sort of relationship with Simon Foster? Oh, yeah. He's her cousin. Okay. Do you know how much they hung out? No. I know that they communicated through the phone, but I've never seen them communicate like in person, like seeing them hang out with each other in person. Okay, and um, back in um, January of uh, 2022, um, where did you live at that time? I lived on the house that's on Green, Greenfield Road. Greenfield? Okay. And um, who lived there with you at that time? Me, Jalen, and I think, well, currently, at the time it was our two children. Okay. And um, what type of... Um, what type of residence was that? Was it like a... It was like a duplex. A duplex. Did anyone live next door at the time? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, I want to take you back to um, January 4th and, and 5th of 2022. Um, did you work at around that time? Yes. And um, where did you work? Uh, it was a factory called Dakota Integrated um, System. And where was that uh, factory located? In Hazel Park. Okay. And um, did you um, did you work a particular shift at around that time? Midnight shift. Midnights. Okay. What were your hours like then? Did you start? Um, um, it was eleven to six a.m. Okay. And um, if um, while you were away at work, Zion had come over to your house, would that have been strange? Or out of the ordinary? Yes. Would that have surprised you? Yes. Okay. Um, back on January 4th of 2022, um, did you go to work that night? Yes. Um, and do you, do you have some memory of that night? Um, yes. How did you get to work that night? Kevin drove you. He drove you? Yes. And um, how were you How were you feeling that night? Is anything going on out of the ordinary for you? Um, I was feeling very nauseous, having really intense nauseous. Um, I was having heat flashes, couldn't really stand up. Um, so I tried to see if I could stay at my job for a long time because at the time I was the only one working. So, um, yeah, I was very, feeling really, really sick. Okay. Um, at, at some point, did, um, did, you go, did you end up going home that night? Yes. Did you go home a little bit early? Yes. And how did you um, how did you get home? Then um, pick me up. Okay. And um, <coughs> was um, and, and like not to pry, but was anything 
like going on medically with you at that time? I was pregnant. That's when we found out I was pregnant with my third child. Okay. Um, and I want to um, show you what's been marked as um, people's proposed exhibit 39. I'm sorry, 37. Yeah, approach your honor. Sure. Um, Ms. Smith, um, I'm handing you what's been marked as proposed exhibit 37, and I want to ask you about that document. Um, did, um, did you exchange some text messages with um, Mr. Brazier on January 4th and January 5th of 2022? Yes. Um, at some point, did you um, give your cell phone over to the Detroit police uh, briefly and then get it back from them? Yes. And was it your understanding that the phone was going to be sort of forensically extracted? Yes. Um, and um, that document that you're holding, Mark, this proposes at seven, uh, 37, rather, um, does that um, contain um, copies of your text messages with the defendant from um, that January 4th and January 5th of 2022 timeframe? Yes. And do those appear to be um, fair and accurate depictions of the messages that you exchanged with him um, at around that time? Yes. Um, Your Honor, I need to admit uh, for those of you at 37. Good. Thank you. May I publish? Yes. And, um, Ms. Smith, I'm just going to ask you some questions about um, a handful of these messages. Um, And um, just so, so we can orient um, ourselves, um, the messages in blue, who are those messages like attributed to? Jalen. Okay. And what's the number um, that he was using at that time? 313-575-3450. Uh, okay. And then if we go down to like the messages in green, who are those uh, messages attributed to at that time? Me. And then um, I want to um, kind of scroll down. Um, if you go down to page seven, um, at the, the very top of that page, um, there's a, a message that appears um, that you sent to uh, Mr. Brazier, is that correct? Yes. And um, what would be the time and date of, of that particular message? Um, January 4th, 2022, at 1.05 a.m. Okay, and um, there's some discussion about you being pregnant at the time? Yes. And so it would be fair to say that um, the two of you were aware that you were pregnant by this point on January 4th of 2022? Yes. Okay. Um, I want to go down to, um, but let me just ask this, in, in terms of your communications with Mr. Brazier that night, was there any, was there any mention of Zion? No. There, so there was no mention that she was going to be over the house that night? No. Um, and I want to ask, um, if you can go down to page 18. Um, you see the message at the bottom there? Yes. Um, and what's the time and date of that message? January 4th, 2022, 10.43 p.m. And what's, uh, what did, um, Mr. Brazier texted you at that point. Home. And what did you take that to, to mean? Um, that he made it home after he dropped me off at the um, emergency room. At the emergency room? Would this be, and, and let's keep the date in mind, because um, I think you testified that you were going to work this, this particular night? Yeah, I was, but I also called off to let them know that I wasn't feeling well. So I had to um, go to the emergency room to see what's wrong with me because I didn't understand why I was experiencing like intense like nausea. I couldn't eat nothing. I couldn't drink water. 
and I kept throwing up clear fluid, so that's why I went to the emergency room. Okay, but I, I guess what I'm asking, um, did, did you go to the ER um, the, the night before, sort of, is there a start? Sure, I went to work. Okay, the night before. Um, and then um, you, you get home, and then you go to work the following night, is it? Um, I just want to make sure we have our dates right here. I believe so, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, and so th this message where um, Mr. Brazier says home, is, again, it's, at, it's January 4th at 10.43 p.m.? Yeah. Does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I want to go, go back to the other message we talked about up on um, page 7, okay? Um, up at the top of page 7 where there was the discussion about you being pregnant. And it, it appears that that's January 4th at 1.05 a.m., so earlier, correct? Yes. And just to be clear, would that have been when you were at the emergency room? Yes. Okay, and so you come back from the emergency room, and then by 10 p.m. The, the, that same day on January 4th, is that when you're going to, you're work. Going to work, right? Yes. Okay. And so um, when, um, when the defendant texted you home, at 10.43 p.m. on January 4th. He was letting me know that he went home. After dropping off from work? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, just going to the next page. Um, uh, down at the bottom um, of page 19, um, there's a message. Um, what time was that message sent? 11.30 p.m. And um, what did that message read? How are you feeling? And no problem. And what was your um, response to that message? Sick, and I can't breathe with this with this mask on. <laughs> okay. And then um, I want to scroll down to page um, twenty-one at the top. Um, what did you message him at that point? I'm really getting tired of feeling like this. And um, what was his um, response? I know, baby. Just, I know, baby. Just is just baby Ada testing your patience. And was that just a reference to the fact that you were you were pregnant at the time? Yes. Okay. Um, we scroll down to page 22 toward the. Um, uh, middle, there's a, a message that you sent. Um, what did you uh, write at that time? I want to come home and lay down. And what time was that sent? 11.46 p.m. And um, what was um, the response to that? I bet, baby. And then um, the, uh, the next message down um, at the bottom of page 22, um, what did you write at that point? How are you feeling? And, um, and at the top of page 23, what did you write? I don't know why my messages are not sending. Was there any issue going on with your phone from what you remember? Uh, there was like a little delay. Like my, my messages wasn't going through. Okay. Did they ultimately go through though? Yes. Okay. And then um, what response um, did you get after that? Tired, probably going to smoke a little and go to sleep. And what time was that sent to you? 12.04 a.m. Okay, and I want to, um, I want to scroll down to um, page 25. Um, toward the middle, there's a, a message um, at 12.23 a.m. What, um, what does that message say? Um, the third one? The uh, second one down, sorry. I don't feel good. And um, what was the next message that you sent? The house are high. And um, what was the response that you received? Relaxing AF, actually fell asleep. And what does AF uh, indicate? As for. Okay. And that message was sent at what time? 
4.36 a.m. Okay. And um, I want to go down to 1.25 a.m. on uh, page 26. Um, did you send a message at that time? So that's the, I'll leave, it to, I'll leave you to it, LOL. What about the next one under, the, under that? I think I need to come home. And what time did you send that message? 1.25 a.m. And um, did you send a message right after that? Yes. And um, what did you write? I don't feel good. And um, what time was that message sent? 1.26 a.m. And what response um, did you receive? You can make it, baby. And what time was that sent? 1.28 a.m. Um, and was there any follow-up? Um, if you go to the next page, what was the next message that was sent to you? But what do you mean? And that was sent also at 1.28 a.m.? Yes. And um, what did you write at that point? My stomach hurts and I feel sick and I keep getting hot and cold. And what time did you write that? 1.32 a.m. Okay, and what's the next message? Okay, baby, do you want me to come now? And when was that response received? 2.12 a.m. So that would be about 40 minutes after yes. your last message? Yes. And um, what was the next message after um, you wrote, okay, baby, do you want me to come now? I'll hop in the shower to kick this high off. And what time was that sent? 2.12 a.m. Um, and if you go to the next page, um, Looks like there's some more discussion about him possibly coming to get you. Is that fair to say? Um, I was letting him know if I want to come home after my break. Okay. And his response was, was what? Okay, well, I'm up, so just call me. And that was sent at what time? 2.20 a.m. Okay. And if you go down to, um, if you go down to page uh, 29, um, the first blue message. Um, what does that read? Marla scratched my neck. And what time was that sent? 2.21 a.m. And what does the word Nyla refer to? My black cat that I had at the time. Okay. And what was your response to receiving that message? What, what do you mean? She was walking over you? And um, what response did you receive after that? I was trying to tickle her stomach and she beat my ass. And what time was that message sent? 2.25 a.m. Um, I want to scroll down at page 32, um, toward the middle. Do um, you see the blue message? Yes. And what does that message read? I'm on my way now, okay? And what time was that sent? 2.37 a.m. And at some point after that, did um, he come to pick you up? Yes. And um, did uh, he bring you back to your house together? Yes. Um, that night, did you happen to see um, whether um, there was a scratch on him? Um, after we came home and we went to go take a shower, I did see scratch right here. When you say right here, can you just describe where it was? Right here. It was like a scratch. Like on the area. collarbone area? Yeah. Okay. Can you describe what the scratch was like? It was a big scratch right here. Okay. Was there blood? Yes. Um, what, was it, I guess, would it have been out of the ordinary at all for Nyla to scratch in that way? Yes. But she never scratched that deep before to draw that much blood. Okay. Um, that night when you were interacting with Mr. Brazier, um, did did he seem normal to you? Yes. Did he seem like he was in any state of panic? No. Um, at some point, um, did... Um, Mr. Brazier um, end up in um, in prison for a brief period of time. Yes. And um, when he was in prison, um, 
did you have um, did you have some communications with him? Yes. And were some of those communications um, like recorded sort of phone calls through the prison phone system? Yes. And um, did you have a way to um, send and receive text messages with him? Yes. And um, let me ask, was that sort of a authorized way of sending text messages to and from him? Um, not really. Okay. Um, and I guess, can you elaborate on that if, if you if you can? He texted me off of a different phone. Okay. And was it your understanding that he had a, a phone in his in his cell yeah. that, that he probably shouldn't have had under like, the prison regulations, right? Yeah. Um, and um, <coughs> I'm holding um, what's been marked as people's um, proposed exhibit 71. Um, may I approach? Yes. Um, Ms. Smith, um, does proposed exhibit 71 contain copies of, of some of the messages that you exchanged with Mr. Brazier when he um, was in prison? Yes. And um, I showed you a sort of a lengthier version of that that had like 250 pages, is that correct? Yes. And a lot of those messages are just kind of private communications between the two of you that have nothing to do with this case, would that be correct? Yes. But do, does this um, contain some messages about um, the investigation? Yes. And um, does, does this document that's been marked as proposed Exhibit 71 um, fairly and accurately depict the messages that you exchanged um, with Mr. Brazier? Yes. And um, when you were exchanging these messages, I mean, did you? Who was your understanding you were you were messaging back and forth with? Um, um, your Honor, I'd ask you to admit proposals at seventy one. Objection. Um, the Cutter found based on possibly on how she knew that this was going to be. She just assumed that she was going to be. Yes. One or two follow up questions. Yeah, Ms. Smith. Um, in this, if we were to look at like the full string of messages that I sent you, would we see photos of him sending photos of himself to you? Yes. And um, and so you receive those photos from this specific phone number that's referenced here. Is that correct? Yes. And it's a three one three. Is it nine two five? Nine two five six one five. Okay, and that's the number that you communicated with, with the understanding that you were communicating with the defendant? Yes. And at some point during the course of exchanging these messages, um, did you also actually have like voice calls with that specific number? Yes. And when you had those voice calls, who was it that you were speaking with? Jane. 